What is going on guys? Welcome to a new video. Like I said, welcome to a new video. Um, happy Saturday, beautiful morning. <clears throat> There's a couple of things I got to do running around and uh, before I start come back to, to, to start to get to, to work. Um, right now I'm actually working on a couple bed sides or actually a full uh, C10 chop for a customer. And, uh, but I wanted to take care of a couple things for my own, uh, personal build and see if uh, I record a little bit of it. So, you know, when I'm doing something that's big enough, uh, I, you know, I always, I always record, um, obviously for my future reference, uh, to see if it's going to help any of you guys out. You know, I'm not a professional, uh, in anything that I do. It's just kind of like a community kind of thing where i just upload a video make sure you guys get something out of it and we can learn from each other right so don't you know this channel's not for someone who's uh been doing it for 45 years and knows every which way of doing anything right this might not be the channel for you uh wanted to try something a little different with like more of like a vlog style where you know a lot of the times there is a lot of things we do in between like the videos or i do in between the videos where I'm like, man, I should probably be recording. But I wanted to give it a try. See if you guys even like it. <clears throat> if you guys like more of like the vlog style where it's just kind of recording the to-do list for the day. Um, truck related, obviously. I have these billet wheels uh, over here. Let me see over here. That I bought uh, maybe a year and a half ago, a couple years ago. I don't know how long ago. But I bought these some time ago. And the only problem with these... Uh, are the two piece two piece billet wheels only problem like i mentioned is that these are uh five by 4.75 so five by four and three quarters right um obviously chevy trucks are five by five my cpp brake big brake brick break kit is a five by five so a five by 127 so we're gonna go to a little local shop um i already called them they say they can do it to see if they can re uh uh, redrill and give me that five by five bolt pattern so let's get to that excuse me see if um there's anything that comes out of that and then if you're local to the riverside area and you needed something like this done um you know they can actually do it so let's uh get started so these are uh 20 by 10 uh torque thrust and uh i will be buying just the full one piece cast aluminum for the front which you know it is for what it is right now uh, maybe down the road we'll buy the two-piece uh, torque thrust. I just really like this wheel, especially for old Chevy trucks. Um, looks super nice. Uh, obviously back here you guys can see the the weld. So yeah, definitely a two-piece wheel. And uh, let's get these uh, in loaded in the dual. All right, all right, <clears throat> all right. Let's get these bad boys rolling. All right. See if we can make it through here to the dually. Uh-oh, about to hit that car. Uh, so yeah, look at that. They're, they're real nice. That that wheel's a little too beefy, for, or that tire. The tire's a little too beefy for me. And I'm uh, uh, gonna get uh, thinner wall tires for now. So we're heading over to uh, this little spot, not too far from uh, my house. And uh, I've had a buddy who uh, has also gotten like some of his uh, wheel stuff uh, fixed there, right? And uh, it's, a, it's a wheel shop, it's a wheel shop. And I couldn't really find another one that did that. And they said they can do it. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, we are on the dually today. Um, this thing fired up right away. Uh, man, I, I, I really do like driving this. Um, eventually gonna do the bigger wheels and all that fun stuff and and uh, all that good stuff but yes so when I pull up I'll be showing the location see what's up and maybe you guys uh, want to pull up to that place anyways so just did the drop-off um, <clears throat> the guys actually super nice um, I wish I would record a little more, but I was, I feel a little weird. Like, Hey, putting the camera on this fix, you don't do that. But you know, putting the camera on the shop or anything like that. Um, yeah. So he was just explaining to me a little bit about the wheel process. Um, he said it can totally be done and then he's going to, and, um, 
uh, email me an invoice. So I'll share it with you guys. See if you guys need something like that done. What it'll cost. Um, obviously, with the wheels being mounted on there and it, uh, them and it only being two wheels, um, that uh, that that price obviously for you guys is gonna change if you guys need like a a, a set of four. But it's good. Um, obviously, wheels are one of the hardest things to kind of figure out when it comes to backspacing and the the size of the lip obviously you know the backspacing the size of the lip positive uh, you know offset negative offset it's just it's a lot to it right um a lot of these wheel professionals they, they've been doing this for a long time so they they get it right i explained to them i i do want concave wheels so that presents uh an actual other challenge another variable uh, when uh, deciding a uh, backspacing and offset because obviously concave wheels go in and offset is measured by like a flat face right of the wheels so um, we'll see we'll see he, he's uh, he's gonna guide me also he can do the dually wheels he can get them down mill down from like 22 and a half to 22s and then uh, make them work for the OBSs so he says he sees tons of OBSs a lot of uh, C10s so I like that. I like people with experience in the in the game. So let's head home and um, continue working on the bedside. He's gonna call me. He's gonna send me an invoice, and then we'll go from there. We're uh, back. So I got a phone call, and the wheels are ready. So we're about to hop in the dually and head over there and uh, pay the man. So again, like I said, I will say what the price is uh, after I uh, collect them or get them back. So you guys if, uh, have a need for this type of service, you guys can uh, reach reach out to him. So, oh my God, thank God I did that because uh, I don't want to lock, lock myself out my own truck. So yeah, I already had it up and running, ready to go. Once again, we're back here. Let me see, this is the dually. It's a little hard to uh, maneuver the thing. A little hard to maneuver this thing so we're just gonna get in here lightly i think they're already out there cleaning up the shop so this is it they got my wheels going all these cool little stuff all right let's get this guy paid here they are and as you can see <clears throat> um you can see how it's been resized right um drilled that a little out and uh, and um, uh, re what do you call it? Redimensioned or it's new sizing, right? So I have my hub here, where oh, let me see, I got a messed up thumb right now. I got my hub right here, where I'm going to show you the difference. Now we're gonna flip this over here. We're gonna flip this over here. And then show you guys how this goes. So here we go. And then, boom. You see that? New sizing. Ready to go. So now it actually fits. And we can run, uh, we can run five by fives now. That's the GM uh, truck uh, pattern bolt. So that's, uh, that's what I needed. And uh, we're going to try the other one. There we go. Oh yeah, beautiful. It works perfectly. So now, if you guys are obviously gonna, I was gonna say that I was going to let you guys know what the price was on this. So to do two wheels, um, have them do that, it's about $45 a pop. So it ran me about $90 for two wheels, plus another uh, 20 bucks a piece uh, to, to to mount or dismount and mount the, the tires back. And then um, I think the stems are bad. I think he charged me another $10 a stem. So total came out to about $150. Obviously, if you didn't need stems or anything like that, and you just took the wheels with no tires, you're looking at about 45 bucks a piece, which is not bad at all. Um, I know they can do it uh, different ways uh, as far as different sizing. You would just have to call and 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 uh, and, and see uh, see if they can do that for you. Um, overall, I'm super satisfied with the outlook, the outcome. 
um, I did want to run these wheels so that saves me a lot of money having to buy a full set now I just can go and buy the I'm gonna do a one piece in the front a one piece uh, uh, torque thrust uh, probably a 20 by 8 or so so I can completely frame and that's just my starter wheel set right I, I do down the road want to get some billets two-piece billets you know some US max some gangster some pretty pimp right so uh awesome thank you guys for obviously sub subscribing liking commenting all that good stuff i really appreciate it continue to like click subscribe again this was kind of like a little vlog i guess a uh, little you know little in between the other videos just to kind of put up some content for you guys if you guys like me kind of doing these little vlogs i don't know if this is boring to you guys or not um there's so many other little things we do i do where uh, i can put up and give you guys more information in case you guys need something like this done or you know the other things that i do for the truck or i am doing for the truck so appreciate it guys much love thank you very much